What up, D Squad? It is me, JB, you guys, and we are here on this good Saturday morning to discuss the season finale of Ready to Love, you guys. I am so glad that this show is done. Huh. Didn't think we would get to this, and I am on game on this Saturday morning. So I know she, I sent the link to Shayna, so she should be joining us on this um here live today. So uh we'll see. But um if you know if you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, then I need you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and then having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys know the routine. You can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel and turning on your post notifications you guys and with that out of the way without further ado let us just go ahead and jump into this episode of ready to love <laughs> what a season finale huh so there was a comment that i already came in here too so it says from katrina uh, taylor did it occur to anyone else that when chaz says he needs to do what's best for chaz did he figure that out by always doing what's best for Chaz? Uh, with Chaz, I think that Chaz is a selfish individual, but we will 100% get into my thoughts and my opinions about Chad, uh, Chaz as we get into it. And we see, I see that Kira joined. Hey, Kira, how are you doing this morning? I saw that you were liking some of my tweets from last night. Oh, these people, these people, these people, these people. So, um, yeah, this episode, I wish we had gotten to the season finale before now, but here we are. Because this, this season could have wrapped up, I feel like it could have wrapped up last week, the week before, whenever, right? But, so I'm looking down at my notes for this episode. So, I guess instead of us doing the traditional Tommy brunch that we do every season, we just did a barbecue so there are no couples with like this season you know tommy's not about the couples there are no couples tommy there are never any couples with the end of the show but this season i just they all could have went home to be quite honest with you kira says yes i watched the episode this morning your tweets were my <laughs> were my thoughts like come on people now We'll start up with Laron. First of all, I don't know what Laron was wearing. Like, that's number one. I don't understand what that outfit was, but neither here nor there. But did anybody catch that when he was sitting down talking to Chaz that he called Maya old girl instead of calling her by her name? I was like, how disrespectful can you be, sir? Like, you've already called her B-I-T-C, you know what? So now we're going to just go ahead and just call her old girl. And on top of that, he was talking to Chaz. And me personally, I wouldn't take any kind of advice from Chaz. I would, you know, there's nothing Chaz could say to me. He couldn't guide me on anything, like not a thing at all, nothing at all. So then Laron, and then Laron is talking about he's from Jersey. And it's like, okay, what is that supposed to mean to anybody with a working brain you're from jersey i'm from texas um people i mean there are people from new york people from california people from georgia what does that have to do with anything respect is respect and if you don't know how to respect people then just because of where you're from that's like when people say oh i'm from chicago oh i'm from here when it comes to fighting just because you're from a certain place doesn't mean anything it's 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 meaningless Let's just be real about that, right? So, Laron and um, what's her name? Maya, they went to go have a conversation with each other, right? And I will say, Maya is a better person than I could ever be because if someone had disrespected me to the point that Laron had disrespected her by calling her out of her name, there would be no kind of conversation that we could have with each other. Like, I didn't say this last week, but I'll say it here this week that that scene with her mom on the phone i don't think that there was a i think that there was a producer i believe her mom was already not coming to this and so she just needed a way to have it on camera that hey my mom ain't coming right uh kira says chaz has all the advice and 
quotes, <laughs> but needs to grow up himself. And Laurent leave Jersey out of it. Yeah, I was just confused when he said he's from Jersey. What does that mean to anybody with a working, functioning brain? So Maya's having a conversation with Laurent, right? And when it comes down to it, Laurent is very possessive. He is very, um, he's possessive, he's insecure, and he's just, he just lacks couth. Let's just be real. So he talking about when she they were in the club and the guy came up to her and, and spoke to her, right? And I didn't want to sit there and look like a simp. How would you look like a simp if she if the guy is just speaking to her and it ain't like she got the man's number. It ain't like she did anything with the man. The man just came up to her and you're in your feelings because a man spoke to her. Like I said, that speaks more to you and your insecurity, because if you felt like if, if you are in a relationship or any kind of situation with a person, then you know the person that you're with and you know that, OK, yeah, she may go out to the club. Yeah, she may talk. You know, a guys may come up to her. But at the end of the day, she's with me. She likes me. She wants me. She wants to be with me. That is someone who is secure in their relation. But there is no relationship. You guys are trying to build a relationship. And I am, however, glad that, you know, this happened when it did, because it's, you know, it it wakes up some, it, you know, it, it it opens your eyes to things. And I, I, I definitely realized it opened her eyes to him. Then we move over to Vanessa and Chaz and Patrice. So they're talking and Chaz is looking off into the, into the, you know, seeing what's going on over there. And they're like, ah, ah bro, man, where about what's going on over here? Hey, you, okay, you guys, Shayna just joined. Hey, Shayna. Hey, JB. Sorry. You <laughs> oh, no, you're good. On at uh, CP time, but I'm here. It's all good. <laughs> you here. Better late than never. Shout out to Riley. I see Kara's here. Hey, Kara. Mm -hmm. so, so I don't I know what we missed so far. So I was just talking about, um, I was getting ready to get into the situation with, um, what's his name, Chaz, but I'd already talked about Laron. So let me know what you think about, what did you think about when Laron came down to the barbecue and he called um, Maya, first of all, old girl, and then they went off to have the conversation with each other. I think I said for me personally that Maya is better than me because if someone calls me a bitch, say F this situation, you wouldn't get a conversation out of me. And then he keeps talking about he's from Jersey. How feel about Laron? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to like just focus on what he said on the show alone because he's making his case even worse now outside mm -hmm. of the show. But he, I agree. I wouldn't, if I was Maya, I would not have continued on. I know a mm -hmm. lot of people say, oh, people argue in relationships and all that. So they are not in a relationship. relationship. <laughs> like they just met. I don't exactly. got to tolerate this. Why am I putting up with this? Who are you? Exactly. Because like I said, um, like he was talking about them looking like a simp in the club, right? And my whole problem with that is you're not in a relationship with her and you're, it, it just goes to show that you are possessive and insecure as hell. Because if you're in a club and people come up to your girl, you'd be like, okay, you know, dude's trying to holler, but that's me. That's my, that's my girl. She coming right. home with me. Why would you feeling, why would you feel threatened by that? Yeah. And I feel like if they had, they been in an actual relationship, if he had those insecurities, maybe she would have handled it differently if they were together, which they are not. Like, I'm mm -hmm. trying to get to know you. Exactly. They shouldn't even went to the club together. Like, I don't think that was a good idea anyway. I don't know why they did that. I guess he liked to have so much fun, but he don't want nobody around. I, and then Tommy brought her up in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if she doesn't feel comfortable, why are you making them hash this conversation out in front of the whole cast? Like, just mm -hmm. let her leave. Yeah, I thought that was so uncomfortable for Tommy to say, come up, Maya, and then bring Laron up. It's like, what are you bringing them up for? Right. Just let her go. She said, she said she's ready to go. Yeah, like you should have pulled her to the side in private and then let her go. Obviously, mm -hmm. she's feeling the way for a reason. Him talking about he's from Jersey, that don't got nothing to do with it. Like you're disrespectful. Mm -hmm. You just you ain't got no home training. I mean, that that's just exactly who you are. it's an excuse. So <laughs> we get to Vanessa and Chaz and Patrice, right? And Chaz is looking over there at Maya and Laron, but they were like, hey, 
you got a situation over here that you need to worry about. And then he flipped it. I think he was flipping it on Patrice, but he was talking to both of them. He said, well, y'all got to make a decision too. I was like, no, you have to make a decision because right. you waited to the last minute to pursue whatever this is with Patrice. So yeah. Man, Patrice needed to make a, there's no decision to make. Like, what is this? <laughs> like, why are we even doing this? Like yeah. Vanessa had a decision to make too, and she made the right decision at the end. But she did. I agree. I agree. So then we get back over to Laurent. So he was going off at the, with the producers. They had to chime come in. And I agree with mine when she said, You're childish. I'm like, girl, you've been knew that. Like, we've all known that Laurent is childish. It's it's been evident since he got into it with Koshia. And mm-hmm. I mean, Koshia had her own stuff with her, but he he's he's a hothead. And then um, what else happened with that? Oh, you know, at the time, you know, they walked up there with Tommy. He walked off and she was, he was trying to talk to her. I'm like, dude, she right. said no. And then he said, well, I, I would like to pursue this with her. Why? Right. Pursue what? <laughs> and where's Koshia? I think one at the barbecue. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Maya, I never really thought she was into him to begin with. Mm-mm. And I was like, okay, maybe she's just trying to give him some play just for the sake of the show. And then he started acting like that. Him apologizing. I know that probably took a lot out of him to even do that because I don't think it did though. I think so. Because I think he's here's my thing about his that. perception. Like, I don't want to like a sim. I don't that's all he keeps saying. So I know he probably felt embarrassed apologizing and then he probably it. did, but I think it's it, you know, because those interviews are filmed after the show is, you know, after they wrapped filming. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't buy him a hundred percent because if he was apologetic in that moment, then why in his interview last week when the producers asked him, you know, why does she think that you um, called her a bitch? Because <laughs> I did. Right, and then he tried to say it was uh, in an interview with someone that it was edited. Like, so, no, I don't think so. Exactly. They, they can't. You said it. There wouldn't be nothing for them to edit. Kira says the door is closed in my nini voice. <laughs> it's closed. I, it's been closed. That door, sh- the door should have been. I think when Maya, I once um William went home. I think when she, I think she got a hint that okay, they may be sending William home. Let me hitch my wagon to Laurent. I feel like that's kind of what she did. Yeah, I mean the whole cast is doing this numbers game nonsense. That's why they need to. Cut out the other. They're not gonna listen to us. They're gonna keep. They're not. <laughs> like there wouldn't be a numbers game to play if they would take this out. Yeah, because I feel like if you know we complain about Rated to Love, but for some out, you know, we still watch it. And I guess they say, well, if they still watching it, then there's something there. Because we complain mm-hmm. about we complain about somebody going home the first night, and they still continuously do it each season. season. But we also want actual love connections. We do. So, I mean, Abel said she, uh, on my other live, she, you, you was there, when she said she just wanted the drama, like, I want a love connection, too. It's a dating show. <laughs> it's a dating show. I do want some drama, but I want it to be real drama and not because of people forcing, you know, forming alliances, like right. the Pick Me Alexis that we saw in that trailer for the reunion. Yeah, the way she was acting unhinged. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She had those no-nonsense braids. Like, she just came <laughs> ready. <laughs> she, she came ready for it. And I, I don't, I'm, I'm ready to see what she has to say. So then we get Tommy telling them their final assignment. I was like, Tommy, say what? Another assignment? Can we just go on ahead and wrap this up? Like, can we get to the theme song? I want to hear the theme song at the end of it. Mm-hmm. So he really told the guys to enter. You say what? So we could have did this last week. I we don't even know why we we're here. But I don't either. We <laughs> definitely could have wrapped this up last week. So Tommy told them, the guys, to introduce their connections to their families. And I was like, are you serious? I think for me personally, I think this is too soon because we all know the ready to love film is very it's fast paced. Mm-hmm. And I don't I don't I'm not gonna introduce someone that I'm not a hundred percent certain about to my family. Yeah. I think that's a little haste for me. You know they're not gonna take this aspect <laughs> out of it. <laughs> so they're gonna keep that there. That I feel I feel this way about the family and even I'm I've come around to the exes a little bit more than I can have the family because the exes you can get a little bit of perspective from them you know maybe maybe why the I, I still wouldn't do it but you can get a little bit of perspective from it 
If I had to pick between the two, I think I would pick the family. I think yeah. they'd give me their true, genuine judgment and their thoughts yeah. versus an ex. I mean, then the ex that they find, it's like, oh, yeah, this ex I had in high school. Like, why are we bringing them on here? Now, the guys always do it right. Like, the women bring on their daddies, their mamas. The guys bring on a cousin, a distant mm -hmm. family member. That I'm okay with that. Which season was it that the guy brought on a girl that he, uh, the one with the long fingernails? The guy had long fingernails? No, the girlfriend. Oh, the, the, oh, the ex-girlfriend. Oh, um, I want to say that was one of the... Uh, DC, it was one of the DC. Yeah, like one of the DCs. I think it was the Potomac. Yes. I can't remember his name because he's with he was with that Sabrina girl, one the other Sabrina girl. Yeah, from the second right. So he was mm -hmm. on the first one. Yeah. Because that wasn't a real girlfriend. No. It's I don't think they dated ever in life. I don't know. I think the woman said they didn't. <laughs> like, mm. So Kira says we want more relationships and a little bit of drama. I agree. Yeah. But I want it to be real drama. Like over the like over the last few years, I've just noticed that they just fight over with the women, they find over scraps. They just keep yeah. with each other. It's scraps. It's scarce. Right. Them. And I don't see the end game. I mean, I know, you know, we they want to say to the end, we don't really remember who gets eliminated in the first two episodes. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why they want to make it to the end. Otherwise, nothing else makes sense. Like, why? Who cares? Like, they're going to bring that guy Glenn to the reunion for what? He was right. like, okay. He that's came over him. that bridge and left again. So, right. what is he there for? You know, he wasn't never in the car, but. <laughs> <laughs> So the first, um, we first see Chaz. So Chaz is introducing Patrice to his brother. I was annoyed with this from the jump because I was like, I'm just, it's this forced connection with Patrice and Chaz. Because if you notice, Chaz said that this is a new connection. And I'm like, we're at the end, sir. Right. How is this a new connection? And then, so his brother was in, I think his brother is military. He said he has high rank. I was like, okay. Now, when I was listening to the brother talk to Patrice, it sounded like an interview. It's like, what's your name? What's your sign? Where you mm -hmm. work? It was an interview. And I was like, why is he talking? But it, he's a military guy. So he's, but I was like, this just feels like an interview. Then when he was asking her about her job and, you know, since she's a massage therapist, I was like, you've been a little, in, in, you know, intrusive, sir. Like, yeah. I don't know. I I think they threw up that military thing to try to intimidate her. And it's like, that man is not intimidating or scaring mm -mm. nobody. Like, Especially when he told her, I like your nails. Right. I was like, what? <laughs> and clearly, he was a nerd back in the day. And I think Chaz was as well. So, mm -hmm. I, Chaz is corny, cheesy, so the brother. I think Chaz done got, you know, got older, the, you know, got the hair, then got a little muscles, and he feel like he top dog at this point. Yeah, everybody keeps telling him he's so fine, and I, I, <laughs> <laughs> with that missing, with that, I, don't, I don't know if it's a missing side tooth or if it's a gap in his teeth, but I, over here, I, when he turns to the side, you can see something. I'm so used to seeing missing side teeth now, I don't even notice <laughs> no <nobody. laughs> <laughs> Everybody kind of, <laughs> but he just, mm -mm. and when he speaks, it's just like you, it's nothing. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's annoying. So, Chaz asked Patrice, did she have her mindset? And she said no. And I was thinking, Patrice, flip it back to him. Do you have your mindset? Because you right. go, you're talking about being me and Vanessa. And the one thing I don't like about Chaz is the way he talks about Vanessa. He puts mm -hmm. Vanessa down. He does. He talks so negatively about Vanessa, but Vanessa was his top connection at one point in time. Right. In I really hope they didn't hunch because if they Ooh, did, girl, <laughs> you gave up the goods for him to act like this. See, that's <laughs> right. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. See, I didn't know nothing about this until you guys has mentioned it because I, I think it was on um, Chloe. I saw Chloe talked about the um, the leaked, well, the leaked video or voicemail or whatever. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's I think it was a video, a video or a voice note. I don't know, <laughs> but I heard it too and. That was a given, Vanessa girl. Yo, mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope none of them had sex with Chaz, to be honest with you. Uh, Kira says the whole Patrice and Chaz thing was dumb. It is. And I've gone in on Patrice ad nauseum about the fact that the fact is on a retreat, you, you waited to the retreat to talk to this man. And he said he didn't save your number. When he said that, I would have been like, oh, okay, you know. I'm like, are the producers behind this connection? Where where did this come from? 
he doesn't seem like judging from her ex that he would be her type. <laughs> she told us she likes younger men. Like nothing about him is what she said she likes. I figured it out what it was that she liked about him, but I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But I definitely figured it out. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I figured <laughs> it's not, not him. I, I saying it, <laughs> like, she solidified it in this episode. Yeah. So next we had Justin introducing his brother to Mika. And the thing I'll say about this with Justin and Mika, I think that they're they overall they're a cute couple, they would be a cute couple, mm -hmm. right? But there's nothing there because I'm with, I don't have a problem with people wanting space because I'm someone like that too. I like my space, but I'm not gonna go days without talking. If I'm dating right. someone, I'm not gonna go days and days without talking. We'll, we'll talk, but I do like a little bit of space, right? And so his brother said that Justin has a lot to deal with, and I want I wish Mika would have asked him what does that mean? He's a lot to deal mm -hmm. with, and then they talked about his last relationship, and his brother said, "Well, it ended because he likes to have his space." And then I also noticed Mika, because the brother asked, does she want kids? Mika said, yes, she wants to see what he's like as a as a father. And I was like, didn't you say in the beginning that you didn't want kids? Yeah, I could tell, like, as the time was going by, she was like, for the right man, maybe. I'm like, girl, do not let him sway you. Like, he needs to prove himself. I saw, I know I saw a Playboy bunny behind his ear. And I was like, hmm. Oh, you, oh Justin's ear? Yeah, when he got when he met Maya's ex, he like mm -hmm. went up to give her a hug, and I mm -hmm. saw it behind his ear, and I said, oh, "Okay, I don't know what that is, but flag on the play." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that. I don't know. I just don't think he's ready. I think she let her guard down. She's really mm -hmm. into him. I think he likes her, but I don't think he's really ready for something as serious as she's what she's looking for. I agree, and what I've also said about Justin is. I don't think he's ready to take because she has two kids. I don't mm -hmm. think he's ready for that because um, if we noticed, like I said, her answer changed about kids. So has his. Because remember when he first came on, he was like, you know, if he has kids, he he just has, you know, he has them. If he don't, mm -hmm. he's come to the conclusion that he's okay with it. And I'm like, but you're a man, not a woman. Men don't have a biological clock because that's the way he was talking. Like he has a biological clock. Mm -hmm. Men can have kids up until the last days on earth. <laughs> He just says, I think he just says whatever to go along. Whoever <laughs> he's just gonna mm -hmm. say whatever he needs to say. But after a while, you can only keep up that facade for so long. And that seems like that was the issue with the ex. Mm -hmm. And one thing you might be a gym teacher, might be good with children. That doesn't mean you're ready to take all of that on. <clears throat> exactly. And for her to have two kids, I would think she would take a little bit more precaution, especially with her having a younger son, her son being younger. Yeah. And especially because of her saying she had an ex around her son and, she, and the son loved him and it didn't work out. So I'm not even about to take no more chances of that happening again. He needs to be for certain about me. Now, I will be honest, I was surprised that Mika made it to the end. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised about Mika, Vanessa. I am so I thought sorry. Alonzo was going to go wild, but I was surprised that Leron made it almost to the end. I didn't mm -hmm. think none of these people would make it. I never expected Mika to make it because. I don't know if it's me because because her personality, it seems kind of dry. It's, yeah, it's like lesser. Because she doesn't, I don't see her laugh too much. No, her she voice is monotone. Very. And I was like, wow, I'm so shocked that Mika made it to the end. Beautiful girl, stat. Yeah, but just but the personality just. It's, just it's, it's not there. So the next day we had is Patrice meeting Alonzo's cousin, who he calls his road dog, right? And Patrice asked Alonzo what his plans are. He said he wants a wife in the house, so he has an apartment. Now, I didn't understand him when he said he don't put up photos because he doesn't want to get comfortable. Because I put up photos of my family in every apartment that I go to. My family is laid out on my you know, apartment. Now, this one, I haven't done it yet, but my last one, they were everywhere. You couldn't walk into my house and I see my family. And so I was just kind of I, 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 one of my apartments. I was like, no, I don't want to be here long. I didn't have pictures. I get now. I get that part. If you don't want to be there long, but I ended up being there for like seven years. <laughs> <laughs> like, so that whole I don't want to hang up pictures is not. If you're gonna be there, you're gonna be there. If you're not, you're not. Like, mm -hmm. you I did have one apartment where I was like that. Where it was like, yeah, no, nah, we ain't standing here. I was only there for a year, and I was out, and I didn't put nothing up. I, I barely. I didn't even unpack most of my stuff. Because the day I moved in, I was like, oh, I made a mistake moving in here. Right. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> I just <laughs> out and that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I so, get what he's saying, but 
um, it's so like you want to look for a house, then you are gonna look for one regardless. Exactly. And so he, she asked him, "What is he waiting for?" He said, "A, a wife." And I was like, Ex "What? That don't make any sense, sir." I think you know with Alonzo, I will say, as opposed to the first episode when um, because Coach Sheen went in on him, we didn't feel him. But over the last few, you know, as the season progressed, I kind of liked mm. him a little bit more. Yeah. He does. He does play a lot though. And in this scene, I finally figured I knew what it was with Patrice, why she was attracted to um, Chaz. is because he has a house. Because she said, I haven't lived in an apartment in 15 years. Right. I mean, that's that's really literally it. it. It's a, and Alonzo knows it, too, because he said, I'm competing with Chaz. He got that big house. We had a date there. So everybody is talking about this house. And I'm like, it doesn't look like a regular house. To me. Maybe it I is. didn't see the rest. I don't know. It just... It looked like a regular house. I'm mm -hmm. like, what, does he live in a mansion? We didn't see the back. Like, what are we missing? We just saw the front of it, and I was like, I'm like, I, was... I don't see. I mean, it's a nice house, but it wasn't nothing that made me be like, yeah, exactly. I got to pick him. And it's in Fort. If if he lives in Fort Worth, then I mean, there are some good areas over there, but to know Dallas, I was say he probably in Dallas. To know Dallas, the if you to know Dallas, the areas to live in where there's money. It's not in it's it like I said, there's some places over there in Fort Worth, but it's really over here um in the DFW, the Dallas area, yeah. like Highland Park and all that kind of stuff, where the old money is and then the new money is back behind me. So I'm like, I don't know what y'all are, but you know, I figured it out. I'm like, okay, Patrice, you just let us know that it was the house. But I figured it out last week with her mama. Mm -hmm. Her mama them gave her mama them gave it away. Was yeah. That, even when they first connect, she, I mean, it's the stability. He's mm -hmm. stable. Alonzo's not. So that that's what the house represents. He's stable. He's at a more mature place in his life. But she was entertaining William, who, I mean, we don't know who, who does he live with. I don't exactly. know. He don't have a stable job. So mm -hmm. Alonzo, at least he had an apartment and a nine to five. Mm -hmm. But she just like, she has stability. But it's like, you don't like him, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't at like all. Him. It's just what he can do for her. Mm -hmm. And he probably won't do it for her. And she has she has three kids herself. He has none. Mm -hmm. Her kids are older. I it just no. I don't see it working. Kira says Chaz almost fifty in a nice house and single. Red flag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Maybe one thing if he had like some serious, and maybe he has, and we just don't know about it. But if he would have been like, I was in a long term relationship for years. I mean, we mm -hmm. know. About what happened with the son, but that was like 20 years ago. Exactly. Like since then, what's gone on? You've just been playing the field and you just bought a house mm -hmm. and these businesses. What 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 are these businesses? He he, yeah, he didn't he didn't um you know go deeper on it. Yeah. It's the house. It's <laughs> yeah. the house. I mean with Alonzo playing being too playful and in the apartment and then it's like okay you just she's past that place in her life. But she that's why I don't know why she likes younger guys like Stella. You're gonna mm -hmm. get a younger man. He doesn't have a reason to have a big old house. An apartment makes sense for him. It's just him. It is. These people play a game just to get to the end. So the next one is Chaz introducing Vanessa to his brother. If I were Vanessa, I would have walked out of that immediately because I felt like they were. I felt like Chaz was, and and I feel like Chaz has talked to his brother. Well, he was talking to his brother. Telling his brother how you know he feels like he could be wasting his time, and then when she says that you know she says what she says, it makes him have you know lose faith in her. I was like, Chaz, did you forget that in last week's episode in the interview with the producers, you told them that you had a connection with eleven of the ten, um, ten of the eleven women or whatever you said, but it was only ten women in this process. Like, you're trying to make you're trying to make Vanessa out to be the villain. When it's in fact you, she's not done anything. You just mad that she, what it is is you're mad that she called you out on it at the um retreat because you like um she didn't come and check on me for what? Right? Why was she gonna check on you? She didn't um, even know what was going on. She's eating. <laughs> like you storm yeah, out. Right, grabbing your fan and your purse and storming out the door. And then I feel like what really pissed him off was her sister. Her sister yeah. saw right through him. And when should, talk, I don't think she should have told him what her sister said. She should have kept that to herself. Like, yeah. So that's what he. I think that's what he is upset most upset about. Mm -hmm. But 
when um when the brother was like you know she was like well you know Chaz has multiple connections here and he just recently started one and he was like well could the same thing be said for you she said i don't have a connection with Chaz and one other man but Chaz has had connections with 10 women and he was like oh okay i was like exactly sir hush right i don't know what Chaz has been telling you behind the scenes but yeah i'm glad she let him know like vanessa knew this whole entire episode she was gonna pick herself mm-hmm. they must told her like listen we need some people to walk along the bridge so you're gonna have to wait because <laughs> it, nothing else makes sense i i would have self-eliminated right along with rashina mm-hmm. and i'm glad rashina rashina did eliminate herself because i think she finally saw that Chaz was just the yeah, old like, f boy yeah he is he said i'm a nice guy and i'm like oh i want to give a nice guy a try and, he, and he's really not that nice mm-hmm. Kira says exactly why pursue younger guys i don't know what it is with patrice and it's it's it, it, it speaks more volumes to her that she pursues younger men because sometimes i mean sometimes younger men may be more you know especially if they don't have if they're not at the same stage that you are like having kids and stuff mm-hmm. you guys are not going to be on the same same playing field you guys are going to have different interests you like she's com- complaining about a house versus an apartment like you said he doesn't need an apartment i mean he doesn't need a house an apartment suits him perfectly but i'm right. trying to just be people to be honest with you yeah. um because um, she she don't like Alonzo no more. And it's like, just say, she don't like, like, no one really, besides Mika and Justin, no one wants anyone. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. y'all are just here wasting time at this point. Exactly. So then we get down to these decisions. I was like, finally. But then I was like, damn, we still got to, we still got to sit through this. So the first people up <laughs> were Vanessa and Chaz. And I was tweeting this. I was like, like I tweeted about Mika. I was like, girl, just run away from LaRon. I said the same thing about Vanessa girl run 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 and so she picked herself and I was I was happy that she picked herself then I rolled my eyes at this fool when he came with them sunflowers and he pulled that one dead one out to give it to her talking oh I was like he is <laughs> that was, uh, so what did he say he said to her she isn't stable and jealous and it's a toxic love that he can't have I was like excuse you yeah, when well, she was wondering if he was gaslighting her, this for sure yes, confirmed really. that. If he was on the fence, like I don't, maybe, maybe not. Definitely, he's a gaslighter. That didn't mm-hmm. even make any sense. Like, what was all that? And when she said, "You know, I choose me," he could have said, "I have respect it and left it alone." I, I also choose myself. Like, you want to get the last word so bad. Like, that's exactly what it was. Because for him to call her, un- she isn't stable. She got kids, so obviously she's stable. Right. She wouldn't be able to take care of her kids. And is she a flight attendant? Mm-hmm. When he said stable, I thought he was state like more so talking about her mental, mental stable, like, mentally unstable, and she's insecure. Like, where does she give off that? Exactly. She wanted to know where she stood in like the second to last episode. I mean, she, she should at this stage in the game. Exactly. And then the fact that he was sending good morning, good morning, beautiful text to other women. Yeah. You sent it to Mika, you sent it to Rashina, you sent it to um Vanessa, and it was a, it was a fourth one. Who uh, Patrice? Right. You yeah. Good morning, beautiful text you you're, confusing. <laughs> you're confusing the women, and he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Chaz can go to hell to for me. Yeah, he because early on in the season he said that he was like, no, later in the season it gets the turn, it makes a sharp turn, and he was right. <laughs> he. We, you know, talked on sideline, and I was like, okay. I'm like, Chad seems like a nice guy overall. Nope. See, from the beginning, I I caught I called Chaz. I, you know, I was I thought he was gonna be a good person when he had that conversation with LeBron, mm. but I, I I knew something when I was I'm like something's off with Chaz. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, it gives he wants to be this perceived as this good guy so that all the ladies will like him. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. When he came in, I'm like, okay, he don't got no picks, but it was a mixer. So I'm like, okay, well, you're supposed to weigh your options. You know, he tugged at our heartstrings with the the story about his son. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like, okay, now your your true self is it's gonna come out. Yeah, the representative is is, mm-hmm. is fleeing. It's like, okay, that's why you you align so much with LaRon, who I mean, you should be you giving him advice like you big bro, but then you you're just like him, just an older version of him. Mm-hmm. So next up was Meek and Justin. I want <clears throat> I want to shout that out that they picked each other. I kind of wish that they 
didn't pick each other because I just don't, I, like I said, I can see them. They're overall aesthetically, they are pleasing to look at, but they are on different pages. They're not even in the same book, to be honest with you, because she has kids. He wants kids. She, let's be real, she don't want no damn kids. Mm-mm. That girl don't want no more kids. Yeah, because I think people are constantly jumping up like, oh, he doesn't have kids, she has kids. And it's like, it's fine if he has kids and he doesn't. If they still are like minded, they want the same things. Like, okay, but I want more. You want mm-hmm. some. You don't mind playing, being a stepfather. They just don't want the same things. Like, I didn't hear any talk about being committed. Like, okay, all this kids talk, but what about the actual relationship aspect? Do you want to get married down the line? Do you want a commitment? Like, this feels like love. What else? Yeah, when he said that this feels like love, I was like, huh? Right. Where, where do we come from with this? Y'all just started getting along at the yeah. getaway. Because <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I thought at one point he was going to go with Maya. I didn't. I never thought we that. Didn't. When they put them together, I was like, why are they going on? Why is she? Why is he meeting the ex? I thought LeBron should have met the ex. I did, too. I did, too. Um, And then next up was Patrice and Chaz. Once again, Chaz is going for the theatrics because he brought another set of flowers, but he has roses this time, right? And I was shocked that Patrice picked, he said no to him. I was, will say I was shocked. But he gave her the roses and he said, let me take one. I'm going to nurture this and hope that you contact me. I was like, oh my. Yeah, like, shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> he got on my no. nerves. Get your like, dignity and go. <clears throat> I was like, can we please wrap this up can mm-hmm. i hear the theme song i was like come on i thought he was gonna just be like you know what i picked myself here too i was surprised that he wanted to pick her like i wasn't doesn't like her <laughs> like, chaz wanted to make it to the end with one, some woman yeah that's what chaz wanted that's all he was looking for was to make it to the end with some woman it wasn't gonna be vanessa yeah he it wasn't gonna be vanessa and it wasn't gonna be rashina because i feel like I'm I'm going back to that episode. I am so glad that with Rashina in that episode that she bust his bubble before he could say the guy is deliberated and we sent you home. And she said, now, pause. I'm going home. I was so happy in that moment that she did that because I was like, yes. I wish she would have done it sooner. Like, yeah. it's like, why did you wait so long? You know, let him meet your ex-husband and the ex-husband talking about he good for to be around my kids. I wouldn't even have took it that far. She should have did it. I guess they can't have everybody eliminated. Yeah, they can't they can't have everybody. But I mean, I would have did it at least at the getaway when he started acting funny, like, hold on. Yeah. I'm right behind you. I'm about to go to <laughs> So he but yeah, Chaz, Chaz is a massive manipulator. I noticed that. Gaslighter, and he I think he likes to one up people too. Yeah, you just want to get the last like uh, Yeah, he wants to have the last word. Sassy behavior. Uh, like can't say sassy, and then I'll be affecting his mental health. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Alonzo and Patrice. They picked each other. Now I was shocked as hell about that one. Now, look, how do you feel about that? Them two picking uh, each other. Uh, I can see it going either way. <laughs> I, like I felt like they was gonna pick each other to go get across the bridge, and then mm-hmm. we see come reunion. It's oh. over. <laughs> like, really? like, um, yeah, that looks the reunion is spicy. Yeah, it better be because they be getting us all like riled up and then <laughs> but she said he she said he was lying. I'm like, what was he lying about? Give us all the details. Well, from the little part from the little snip that I caught what I was listening to, I think she was saying there were three other women that he was talking to. Mm, I wonder if they were off the show. Again, because uh, nobody on the show seemed like they were interested in him. Mm-mm. It has to be. It's like if you have other, I don't know. I guess I can try to see both sides. Like, should he stop talking to people when you're his only connection on the show and <laughs> you're talking to somebody else last minute? So, uh, Kira says Patrice with the Uno reverse. That was definitely an Uno reverse on him, and I was here for it. And then uh, the Haitian Empress. You said that Chaz and his quote wealthy self is a geriatric demented clown. <laughs> uh, I can't disagree. Oh, nobody's arguing about that. <laughs> Kira also says Zoe had hoes. He definitely did. Okay. But I don't know how. Alonzo is a clown. He he's he's too goofy. 
I don't know if yes, I would. Not... But you see, over time, he ended up. You know, I started liking him after yeah, a he while. A little, he became a little bit more charming as time went on. I can see it, but yeah. when he gets rid of all that playfulness and he starts having serious conversations, it's like I can see potential. But that's why I don't like that for Patrice because, girl, you too old to be talking about some potential. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm potential. Like we we don't want potential. But I guess that's why she thought Chaz was a better option. Chaz still working on his potential. He's done. Like he's who he's gonna be. Like this is yeah. Chaz is who he is. <laughs> like he's, he's done. Chaz is a is a an ass clown. Yeah, he's not changing now. And I knew, I mean, uh, this whole time that he had a girlfriend who's, he's always talking about black men, this and that. Who, he has a girlfriend who's not black. <laughs> so I'm like, what were you doing? Oh, on really? The show? I don't know mm-hmm. that. I don't keep this. So this season, I have made it a, my mission to stay out of the ready to love drama because every season, these people seem to, dr- you know, drag me into it somehow. Either they don't like me for the things that I say, or they come onto my reviews and they come to my DMs. This is the first season I was like, you know what? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> JB ain't dealing with it this season. Because I know well, I saw last week. Quilla uh, introduced a shout out to Tequila. And I was like, okay. That's why I was like, he seemed genuinely nice when we spoke. He didn't, but after watching the show, and mm-hmm. then it was just something about him saying, like, oh, this black man and mental health and all this black. Li- and it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now he done kicked me off of his personal IG, so I can't, <laughs> I can't get no receipts now. But I could see that he had, and I'm like, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You have a discussion. It's not. But it's just, don't act like you just advocating for it. Mm-hmm. And that's not even, you know, you didn't want that. That is not what you want. It's why just the show. Yeah, like what are you on? Why are you on a black dating show? Exactly. If you want that, then go on some other show. Go on The Bachelor. Yeah, there's a hundred golden other. bachelor for him. Yeah, the golden. Yeah, I guess he's aged out of a lot of the other shows. So, <laughs> but there's a show for him somewhere. Um, the Haitian Empress also says Alonzo with that extra bony cranium and lisp was playing Patrice. Oh wow, Haitian that's what I. That's what. <laughs> the lisp has been bothering me all season. Uh, Kira says, "Who has a non-black girlfriend?" Chaz. I mean, I, mean, I can see it. Yeah, it's not like I'll be surprised. No. I'm not surprised. Mm-hmm. But that don't come like, on, you know. Yeah, just don't come on this show faking the funk that you are all about black women, black love, and all this kind right. of stuff. But then, he's not the first who's done it, but I'm tired of these men coming on here acting like they're interested when you know that you aren't interested in any of these women. This is not your type. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I don't even know why you're here. Exactly. You don't get the clout after being already the love. That's my whole thing, but that's my, you know, that's why I like Jessica because Jessica was ready for last season to end. She couldn't stand last season. She was ready for it to end so she can go back to her regular life and you don't see her hear nothing from her. Me and her do still communicate with each other, but you don't see her hear nothing from Jessica. That's why y'all work in the same building. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't don't see her hear anything from her, but some of them, because like I, I, you know, the chat we're in where i was telling you guys yesterday that um i saw that um laron is having an event mm. in atlanta sir wrap it up <laughs> wrap it up because in two weeks <laughs> about that behind the scenes i'm like sir in two weeks we ain't gonna remember your name you charging how much for what he did say he was gonna be there so i was like oh okay I'm more interested in the food than these old talking about a cast member from every season. <laughs> Who do I want to see from season? I don't even <laughs> remember these people. Right. Like, I've had people. Well, I like, had to jog my memory for Ashley for Make a Move. Like, well, I'm not like, so not Ashley. I didn't even know Ashley because I didn't watch season one of Make a Move. But because I was asking people like, "Who is Ashley?" They were like, "She was on season one." I was like, "I don't remember season one." Hell, I barely remember Zadia. Not right. I barely remember I mean, Zadia. Honest, I can't really remember the people from last season. I barely remember Zadia because I was like, because somebody was like, Zadia's on there. I was like, Zadia, Zadia. I'm like, who the hell is Zadia? And then they was like, from DC. I was like, DC. I'm like, let me remember which one is DC. I was like, oh, the one that was with um, Camille them. They were mm-hmm. like, yeah. I was like, oh, completely forgot about her. Yeah, I, I forgot. Like, it. When I, I saw her, I remember. Mm-hmm. But- uh, yeah, when I saw the season, yeah. when the season aired. I was like, oh, Zadia, the one that got up from that table. Yeah. Now, when I did the panel with the ladies, I was like, okay. But they were more recent seasons. We're going way back when there's only a few people who really stand out. And then I mm-hmm. still struggle to remember their names. Like, there's not there, there's not enough. I think there's one guy from season one who went on to be an actor. 
And that's it. <laughs> like the rest of them, y'all. They're not memorable. This show is not. And this show Even when they brought Teresa on make a move, it was like, why her? I was her personality was. I'd rather meet her. I was thinking the same thing when they when. And I remember Sharice, and I was like, of all the people from Miami, they picked oh, Sharice. Oh, Warren. I didn't understand. Sharice. And then when we saw Sharice on Make a Move, I was like, and still, she ain't she changed at all. Girl. Besides being a mean girl, like, that's her <laughs> personality. <laughs> like, there's nothing else. Exactly. And, and I was so shocked with Zadi. I was like, wow. Because then, because like I said, I didn't remember Zadi completely. But then when I started watching the season, I was like, oh, and when I saw the trailer, I was like, Zadia, okay. I was like, Zadia was a mean girl on her season. Yeah. And then make a move. She wasn't, she didn't um give in to um Sharice. I was like, wow, Zadia done changed. And then wigs ain't changed, but Zadia's changed. Oh no, I like her switching her wigs up every scene. <laughs> yeah, some of them wigs was not, some of them wigs weren't hidden. They wasn't. She wasn't about to wear it the next scene anyway. So. Oh, God, some of them wigs. Wasn't. So the Haitian neighbor says that's why black women need to be more selective when it comes to losers like Chaz. Mm -hmm. Not gas them up when they know they would not check for them in society. I 100% agree. I agree. Well, they were doing a little bit too much gassing up. Like, even when I they said it all that season. Scene, yeah, when they wear the pajama party and Chaz is like, who's the sexiest man here? And for sure, everybody knows it's it, you. It, even the men. Girl, what, why are you pouring it on so damn thick? Exactly. <laughs> like, pick me, like, like you called her a pick me. I'm like, <sighs> um, she also says, hey, also says, these cast members are very forgettable. Absolutely. And it's the fact that ready to love between seasons, we don't get that much time in between a season. Mm -hmm. Like, this season ends, I'm pretty sure we'll begin another season in, what, two or three months. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, I, I can't hardly remember the Love is Blind people. You think I'm about to remember some Ready to Love people? And at least with them, they have opportunities that they can do. Right. With Love is Blind, because they're on Netflix, a big, a big, big, you know, big name behind that. Um, the Haitian Nipper says actor on Tubi or with a <laughs> <laughs> he was on a Netflix movie. It was an African movie, but it was on Netflix. But I can't remember what it was. Oh God, I don't know what it was called. It was something on Netflix I saw him on. Oh, I think Melissa has said something um in the comments too. Um, I don't see it. Hold on. I'm trying to see, so I don't see every. It, I hate Streamyard. Let me put that because I don't see every comment. I can't put it on there. What does it say? From Melissa Sharice Farrell, she said Cheesy Chaz was super sassy. Oh, I see <laughs> it. His brother Tracy has an obsession with women's nails. Yes, I was. Um, oh, let me see how I want to say this in the nicest and the nicest way about that brother. Let me see how I want to say this. It was given gay. Because <laughs> <laughs> most more, I mean, you'll find more gay men that are, that love women. I mean, I like women. I'll look at a woman's nails and be like, you know, oh, those are pretty. But well, the way from last season pointed out, uh, the one with the short hair, her nails. And he was like, I mean, not be paying attention to nails. But it was the way he was so gleeful. Yeah. Because he was like, oh, I love your nails. Yeah. He was so <laughs> it was just, he was just so gleeful about it. Hey girl, I love hey, your nails. Hey, like, ooh, I love your nails, girl. <laughs> it was just he was very was gleeful. That? Now, Chaz, if you come over here, don't 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 start no sh don't start no ish, sir. That's right. all I have to say. Leave me like I, I say. JB said it. That's what he said. <laughs> it's, it's what it gave. <laughs> Melissa agrees. I think he, he just doesn't know how to compliment women. Like maybe that's his go-to for compliments, and women just be like, "Oh, really? <laughs> it Dang. was just so. It was. It was just so. It was the way he. It was just so gleeful and how he was. Yeah, because the whole time he wasn't giving that to me. He wasn't. It, it wasn't until, until he saw her nail. The nails. Like, All right, bye. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> it wasn't until he saw them nails <laughs> that I, I was like, "Oh, like, okay, now." <laughs> He was he was happy to see them nails. I was surprised he brought his brother because he said his. I was just going. I was going to mention that that fact that he because I was clocking that the fact that he said he's not that close with his siblings, but you brought your brother. I, is it a real brother or is this an actor? Nah, that looked like his real brother. He looked like what Chaz would look like if you throw some glasses on him <laughs> <laughs> and cut his hair off. So Nation Emperor says when Chaz claimed wealthy 
and then said his brother was high ranking. I'm giving a side. I next thing you know, he is the one sweeping the interrogation room, level four janitor. The Haitian Empress is going in on JS. And yeah, not- he's really high in rank. Like, so we don't care about his accolades. We just trying to figure out he needs to be getting to know Vanessa. But the thing is, if he was so high in rank, he wouldn't be able to come on this show. Mm. I don't think that they would be able to come on. My dad is high rank in the military. If I get on the day show, he coming on the show. Don't they have? But don't they have to get so many go through so many clearances before they can do things like this? I don't see because he's in, he's not doing anything. He's, he's not doing he's anything. Related. Yeah, he just. I think Chaz. I think Chaz used that to right. as an accommodation factor. Hmm, like they didn't scare nobody. Like okay, <laughs> you say that, and then we see the brother. Like this, the one you talking about? Like okay, give anyway. him point, Dexter. <laughs> Whatever you say. Yeah. And he looked uh, like he should have been retired from the military by now. <laughs> so that is the season. Like I said, thank God it's over. I know how you feel about Texas. You don't want them to come back here. Nice. Texas is not bad. I think Ready to Love just does terrible casting here. They wore us out. I mean, we've been in Texas 125 times. Like, no more. Think- it gets worse every time. <laughs> like The first, the well, you, you, well, I know it. For me, I started with the first, the second Houston season, not the resort. I started with the um, or was it, was the resort in Houston as well? Yeah. So I didn't start with that one. I started with the one with Joel <laughs> and and uh, Vernicia them, and that wasn't that bad to me. I didn't hate that season. It's just as they've gone, and it's weird how we say every season is it gets worse and worse. Mm. worse. Every season is worse than the last. And I don't know how that's possible. But I, I, think I like that season, the resort season, all the earlier seasons. I didn't like season one, the way they structured it, but. I've heard people say that. It was better than what we got going on now. I've heard people say they didn't like the way that season one was structured. But, and I said, I'm, I've, I've been saying I'm going to go back and watch season one through technically one through three. Yeah, because we to being technical, I started watching with the resort season and I went back and watched season one and two. And season two, Season two is messy. <laughs> that, re- that reunion is probably the messiest reunion they ever had. So we ain't, we ain't seen nothing like that since. <laughs> Melissa says, what I didn't like, Chaz expressed so much negativity about Vanessa to um, his brother Tracy. Luckily, he didn't fall for it. It's like he wanted him to be nasty to her. He even mentioned she doesn't like dogs. Yeah. Yeah, and I caught that. And Vanessa did that last week on Patrice Family Day. Like, why are we naming so Vanessa? Tacky. Like, it's like, what do you like about my daughter? I don't like that Vanessa said this, and I don't like that Vanessa. Said, Excuse me. And I would have been like, why are you bringing up another woman right. on a date about my daughter? Exactly. And Patrice should have been checking him. Mm-hmm. Say what you like about me without mentioning Vanessa. Exactly. And Vanessa said it's not that she doesn't like dogs like that, but I mean. Even if she don't like dogs, why you wait till the last episode to say something about it? You ain't mm-hmm. we didn't even know you had a dog. Now it's an issue. Well, what I found was funny was him saying that the dog wasn't going anywhere, and it reminded me of Justin and Alexis on Married at First Sight when Justin had to get rid of oh. his dog. Yeah, he gave up his dog for nothing. <laughs> and she's engaged to a woman now. Yeah, that's my girl, Alexis. She's she's really sweet and kind. Uh, but that season didn't make her look sweet and kind. It sure did, and I was not feeling. Well, you know, I wasn't feeling Tequila either. And now, I mean, I probably talked to her the most. Really? Mm-hmm. I think Tequila had blocked me on Twitter. Yeah, I was not in. I didn't see it for her at all. Really? <laughs> but I mean, see, it's just like when you talk to them outside of there. Mm-hmm. But then again, I don't know because when I chat with Lamar, he just the same as he is on the show. <laughs> like, look, <laughs> please. So yeah, I was I, I caught that. I was like, it's interesting. I'm like, did you watch Married at First Sight and see that Justin gave up his dog? Yeah, I, I did watch that season. The only season of Married at First Sight that I gave up on was this one that's currently on. Mm-hmm. I but did too. Justin, I used to feel sorry for Justin. Mm-mm-mm. I ain't never felt sorry. I did for initially because I was like, oh, she's treating him so bad. Now I'm like, <laughs> it says LeBron the angry poo. Was really bad for this season. He has no appeal, is not ready, and um, the false bravado was annoying. You know, I don't believe Laron was ready for ready to love at all either. I just yeah. thought he was playing a game. Yeah. Kira says you talked to Tequila. 
I do. Like her number is in my phone and everything. Y'all know he was on a on, on a panel, panel. So with Sabrina Soul. Mm-hmm. Aries was on there. Aries was super so all the ladies are really nice. Alexis from Mary at first sight was on there. So a lot That's of interesting because when you told because I remember you told me you was like Alexis is gonna be on there. I was like, Alexis. I was like, oh God. Because y'all know if I couldn't stand Alexis that season, I just I thought she was doing the most. But then looking at Justin, he, I mean, yeah, Justin wasn't innocent. Right. On the show, see, I, that's how I'm like, ooh, I would hate to go on a reality show and be fighting for my life. Like, that's not how I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they made me look that way. But she doesn't like him. She couldn't stand mm -hmm. him. She couldn't. Uh, Pat Covington says, Chaz claimed he had connections with 11 women, and there were only 10. I'm so glad he left empty-handed. I too. think you all are. I'm so glad for who you have all these connections. You left with no one. That's mm. like you focusing on one connection. This is exactly what I was thinking. <clears throat> LeBron needs therapy. He's so immature. When he said he's from Jersey, I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? People from New Jersey don't express emotions. That's what I was wondering. Like, you trying to justify him cussing women out because he's from Jersey? <laughs> like, I guess so I guess so. The ladies out in Jersey. I guess that's what he was saying that we don't respect women. And even he said, "Oh, I didn't, say, I didn't call her B." But then he turned around, and was like, "Well, I said me and Jessica got bees at the house, and all this. If you're calling all the other women bees, then why wouldn't you call? Like, why would it, why wouldn't we believe that you were saying that about Maya?" Mm -hmm. And then I saw that. So I don't really tweet during the episodes that much, but I saw last week that um, Brandy Yvonne had tweeted about him, and he came up under her tweet. And said that he didn't say it, and he he was trying to clear it up. He said, "I guess he went to one of her DMs and was talking to her about this." He's he's he, <laughs> he who hasn't he been talking to? He was talking to everybody. He ain't been a month. Thank God for it. Because I they all this cast has been chatty. I mean, I told you. See, that's why I said comments last week on my last video. I'm like, if y'all trying to scare people from reviewing, like we gonna say what we saw. Like I'm gonna speak on what I was shown. And that's why I'm so glad that. Like I said, this season, I have managed to not be roped into anybody's drama, any other rated to love people. And I was, I'm, I thought they were going to find me because every year, without fail, somebody finds me. And I'm like, damn. Now, I found Jessica, but yeah. Uh, Haitian never says correct. Oh, she's not to Melissa. Plus, you know, his soft body, <laughs> his soft body self will run out of breath playing uh, fisticuffs. Y'all are going in on these men, and I'm here for it. And these are people they they saying it, not me. So if they come into these, if they see this, JB ain't said nothing about none of y'all because I know they like to read. <laughs> um, Kira says, I know they say New Yorkers are rude, but no man is talking to me like that. Absolutely, right. I don't think anyone, no woman should be talking. I don't think that's not. I don't think no woman should be talking right. to like that. He said, even if he said he didn't say it to her directly, or he was like, oh, F that B. Like, why are you saying that about her? Exactly. Oh. If this was your connection. Right. You couldn't even wait until the show ended to be like, all right, well, now that we made it to the end, like, I'm cutting you off. He didn't even play the game right. He's too emotional mm -hmm. and stubborn. LaRon is a frustrated man who has to, oh my God, has to pay for women. <laughs> he feels he owns you for that moment. He is. <laughs> He's pathetic. 32 in his, oh God, in a 60 year old body. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, reading Lauren. <laughs> she she do not like Lauren at all. Exactly. Lauren seems like, at first, I'm like, okay, outside of that, maybe a friend, like he might be a good, cool person to just hang out with if you didn't know all this backstory. Like, all right, we could just kick it at the club. We could go out for brunch. But it's like, when it comes down to relationships, he is not ready. Laurent was a no for me from the beginning, and I'll, and I'll tell you why. So when Laurent mentioned the fact that he goes out so much, yeah, that was you know, from from what Thursday, from Wednesday or Thursday to Sunday, Sunday, I was like, do you have a do you have a job? Right. Because damn, how do you do that? That's why I said he would be friend zone because it's like, <laughs> why would I? Nobody's. Even I don't even know if my mom would be friends with that because, like, damn, you gonna because here you go. What's up? You want to go to the club? Laron, I'm at work. Laron, <laughs> right. I just got off work. I mean, when you see, you know, like, I don't got nothing to do tonight. Mm. 
let me go. And he tried to yeah. justify by saying, okay, well, I'm, I work from home. Like, okay. I work from home too. Social life. <laughs> exactly. Like, there's other things to do. Kira said, <laughs> y'all about to have JB put up a disclaimer. Like, <laughs> Absolutely. Because JB ain't saying this stuff. Me too. I'm innocent. <laughs> I, I'm, JB ain't said nothing about Chaz or Olman. Uh, so, no. It's cool, though. I know because I'm fine with them coming to my team. I, like I said, I've been dealing with these people for the last few seasons. Everybody wants to come in because I remember, who was it? What was that girl's name from Miami? That Kayla girl? Oh. Because she didn't, she did not like, no, it was Kayla and it was Jamala. Now, that girl went off in my DMs about um she one of my lives. Then one of the cast members hopped on. She went off. I was like, ma'am, I didn't say nothing about you. <laughs> no. I was like, I ain't saying nothing about you. What I mean, what else can you do? Like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Haitian Emperor says it's not that I don't like him. Oh, okay. It's fine if you don't. I mean, I'm not <laughs> it's no judgment. <laughs> uh, because I ain't, I ain't the biggest fan of him either. She says his lack of self-awareness gets to me. He knows that um, unless he pays Maya, he has oh, he has no chance with Maya, yet he ha yet has the unmitigated gall to act. Um, act the derriere, his immaturity irked me absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm just having fun with y'all's comments. So it's nothing. It's not. I know y'all. And he's the reason why a lot of people say, okay, we need older cast members. We need older people. We shouldn't have nobody in their thirties. Which is like, because I feel like okay, I'm in my thirties, and I'm, I am too. like, I mean, we are just like, <laughs> I feel like he. I can't even believe we're so close in age. But it's like Chaz is older, and he. Lamar was in his 40s as well. Oh my god. So I'm like, Lamar. it's not the age, it's just the, the, it's the men. people that you're choosing. <laughs> like, it's why are y'all picking people clearly just for sake of drama? Yeah. But I'm I will say I'm glad they're ready to look. I know I think you mentioned this in one of your reviews that they were just getting them out this season of problematic people, and I'm happy that we're doing yeah. that and we're not keeping them around just for the sake of oh ratings no i think they got rid of too many and was like wait a minute it's getting a little dry let's keep leron because i was like how is he still here I was <laughs> but they needed to keep him there just to have some kind of drama going on um melissa says maya is out of his league but got really possessive when she expressed interest in him too mm, yeah i think he got possessive going to the club because i mean let's just be like i said we all agree i agree with y'all Maya is definitely out of his league. Maya's fine as hell. Mm -hmm. And so he probably saw that dude that the dude probably looked much better than him. And he was like, damn, I ain't got a chance with her if she give him his uh, you know, her number. Yeah. But he was possessive over Koshia. So it was like he just gets possessive when over whoever he's he has his eyes set on. And he feels like they for me and me only. <laughs> oh God, this comment. I am dying. Lamar thought yeah, Lamar was the one with the missus. I didn't see Chaz having a missus eye tooth like y'all said. Has, but I definitely noticed Lamar <laughs> missing some teeth. Has, it's, it's, if it's not a missing side tooth, it's a gap. If you go look at Chaz, there's something over here. It's a, it's a space in his teeth. I don't know if it's Damn. a gap or if it's a, it's a missing side tooth. But it's, it's it must be a lot smaller because Lamar's, you can't miss that. Like, that's a tooth missing. <laughs> that is definitely a tooth missing. Lamar thought ready to love off of dental benefits to fix that missing side tooth. I am done. I am done. Yeah. Um, it's not hard to look better than Lamar. It's not. It's not. Yeah, she's uh, <laughs> telling us how she really feels. Chaz has an awful intention. Y'all, mm, y'all crack me up on this good Saturday. Well, this afternoon now for me, but I have fun, Shana. Yeah, so, it was a good time. And thank you to uh, the Haitian Empress for saying things that we may be thinking. And just, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Absolutely. Whether we thought it or not, she said it. Thank you for that, because you said everything I've thought about Chaz, and y'all said some, some things I thought about LeBron. But right. like I've said, just been me. trying to keep it clean this season. Because <laughs> I don't know if or not. But you know, JB said he don't talk to the folks. Like, you, everybody's like, "When are you gonna do another interview?" I can't interview nobody if I'm going in like uh, the Haitian Empress. <laughs> See, and that's, <laughs> like, that's, I don't want nothing to do with you. That's the thing about it. Like, I know you were telling me last season, why don't you do an interview with Justin? I'm like, I don't do interviews. That's just not my thing. I mean, if you was already telling us what she said anyway, let her come yeah. on and tell it. She was over it. When I tell you, 
Mm-hmm. Jessica was over it, like over it. I could I could see it. So I knew that there was no chance of getting because she didn't even want to do the interview with Crystal Luxo, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, I, I I think that with the interviews, I just get tired of seeing the same people. I'm glad that they're doing them and I like to see their perspective, but I want to other people that do interviews as well. I want to hear different points of views, different questions. The only thing I hate about the interviews is they do them like these people try to with Raider the Love, they try to do them while the show is. Yes, I to, hate that. Up, I like to ask, I'm like, name. I'm not even going to try to entertain a thought of it, at least until the reunion is on and, and it's done with. You can't talk about everything anyway. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear no, I can't say that. You got to wait. It's, exactly. There's no point. Or you're just ruining the show for us. Like, mm-hmm. I. Like what was that girl that was the first one eliminated? This oh, because she was she did an interview with Little Black Book, didn't she? Mm-hmm. I think did she have one with you? Or yeah, but after that Little Black Book one, she's like, I'm I'm done with interviews. So oh, really? I respect it. Yeah, I guess he just gave her a rough time. And I'm like, <laughs> now she if she did after she got eliminated. She was on one episode. Her doing the interview is one thing, but some of these I'm like, Lamar been interviewing all week. Like in the show, he wasn't eliminated. He was still on the show. Like at least wait until you're off the show before you start talking. Exactly. All right. Have you done your review yet? No, I got to do it. I'm gonna have to watch it again because it was, just, it was <laughs> a boring. It was a little boring. Mm-hmm. I had to watch it again this morning to take my notes because I watched it last night, but. I was like, my God, I was yeah. frustrated. Yeah, I, I was out last night, and I was like, I do when I come back, and I end up falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I just watched it just enough to, to know what was going on so we could talk about it today. Oh, the Haitian Emperor says, Chaz was really pissed with me in another chat. You think I lost sleep <laughs> over it? I was like, <laughs> I was like one of his <laughs> connections left without a care, LOL. <laughs> right, like, really listen, if I was going to keep it, if I was going to keep it cute, now I'm definitely going to say everything I got to say. <laughs> And that's what I hope Vanessa does for the reunion. I hope Vanessa tells us how she really feels about Chaz. The only thing they filmed it so early, so she didn't get the chance to see what he was saying behind her back. I was about to say she didn't see everything, but the thing with Vanessa that I'm I noticed is Vanessa is a little meek. Yeah. So I don't think that what we would expect from like what we got from Jessica last season, what we got from Tequila last season. Even Janelle, we're not going to get that from a Vanessa. She's not that type of person. She doesn't Vanessa, have to deliver it like they do to still check him and tell him about himself. She's a soft spoken. She's a soft spoken mm-hmm. person, so it's not like I know you don't. I know you don't watch Bold and Bougie, but like it's kind of like the girl I on there. Episodes on both. It's huh? just I, said, I watch some episodes. It's just not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the girl princess. How she, they want her to yeah. be be vocal but that's just not who she is right so i think okay, that's i feel it. like behind the scenes vanessa will check you she's just not going to do that in front of everybody okay. yeah we'll so see what the room is jackie, like dr jackie be cussing behind the scenes and then oh, <laughs> quiet that's not as a church mouse in public oh i don't even want to get on dr jackie because she pissed me off at that reunion mm-hmm. she uses heavily as a guard dog um, Haitian Reaper says Vanessa expressed herself very well. She has no hesitation. Yeah, she had. That's exactly what it is. She had no hesitation telling his brother that. Um, I agree. She expressed herself well, but she's not going to. I don't think Vanessa's going to be in your face with it. No, I don't expect for her to be to to be in your face with it. But with I, a person I, I like her, Chaz, you got to be. Uh, if they give if Tommy the structures it right and allows her to speak, she can still say what she. You can say what you had to say and not have to be like Janelle was and be all loud or be standing up and jumping up and throwing things. You don't have to do all that to, to get them, get your point across. But we know that Chaz is a person that likes to get the last word. Yeah. Tommy could, you know, that's the problem. So that's why I feel like Vanessa would have to dig into him because you gotta, sh- you gotta shut somebody like him down. Cause I mean, come on, the man brought a, a dead rose. Yeah. That was just like, he was sitting there thinking about that all night. He, planned that. he definitely did. But yeah. I wonder if she would have said yes if he would have pulled that little stunt. I feel like he was waiting to see what her answer was going to be. I think he would. I, I think he definitely was waiting to see what she was going to say. She went first. I think that's what it was. I think he wanted. I think he wanted to see if she was going to say no to him, and if she says no, then boom, dead rose. Right, because she didn't even know. Like what? Um, she does not go in the gutter. She should. I gotta get gutted. 
she yeah she don't she don't now me I'd cuss them out exactly you don't you don't, you don't have to do that to say you can be <laughs> nice, nasty and check somebody you can yeah you can be nice and nasty with down in the trenches now I would uh, uh Kira says that dead flower was corny mad corny the Haitian Empress also says all the things I say I would deliver sitting down while sipping my scotch or wine no need to lose it when in um insulting the miscreant mm -hmm. Because yeah. especially if she she get all loud and rowdy, cause you you got to know who to do that with. Like you mm -hmm. that with all you're doing is boosting his ego. Like he really gonna think you care, you care so much that you took the time to get that upset. He yeah. doesn't even deserve that. Hey Monique, um, I'm I'm so late. I'll definitely catch up what I missed. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday to you. Saturday, happy that you came. And hey, um, Motown investor, happy to see Motown you. Investor. So Melissa says Chaz tried to but he did. I forgot to mention that part where she said that he texted her mm -hmm. about good morning, beautiful. He was right. trying to butter her up in hopes that, and that that's why I say this was planned. He planned mm -hmm. this because he was hoping she would say yes. Actually, I think what it was was I hope I think he wanted her to say yes so that way it would sting even more when he yeah, wrote dead rose. Yeah. Because she says text and hopes on her saying yes at the bridge only for her. Him to dismiss her at the bridge. His plan backfired, like we're Rashina. Yeah. It says Chaz is the personification of Grand. Oh God. <laughs> I hate when people text that shit. Grand Rising. Take your whole tip ass on mm -hmm. somewhere. He's not even on that level. He's so corny. He just said a good morning sexy to everybody in his phone and go. <laughs> That's all it is. It's like a mass text message to everybody. And I know they don't do that anymore. Oh, I just aged myself too, though, didn't I? Because back in the day, you could send a mass text message to everybody. But yeah, That's that is it. They were like, we, the women were like, we see the other phone numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a group text. Yeah, yeah, nice lick. The other women in the harem. Mm -hmm. So um, let the people know what you got coming up, Shayna. Uh, I, did a, I did a poll, yeah, and the people said they wanted Martha's Vineyard. So I'll do an episode. Yes. <laughs> I'll do one. It's a good oh, show. Yeah. It's a good show because I would say strike on while the iron is hot because you know how it is with our shows. Right. You know, I try to support, but I... Uh, you know, our shows get toxic very fast. That show started off toxic. It was, and, and it wasn't like a good... Was, well, you know, the, I'm saying with the fan bases, it gets toxic. Oh, wow. Well. Because, you know, I love a marriage DC, but you, so you're going to do Martha's Vineyard. You I might do an episode. I got to do my ready to love review. Um, BMF and what? Nothing's on right now. I'm nothing let you have on. BMF. Yeah, <laughs> that show is just not good to me. I, I love me some BMF. I can't it's, lie. It's the acting for me. La la. But it's better than sisters, so <laughs> by far. Cause they don't hide all them Instagram models. Yeah, yeah, they did. But I want to know what are your uh, what are your thoughts about the reunion? Oh. Reunion for this show. Ugh. I knew that Alexis was gonna come in with something to prove because of how I'm pretty sure she figured she looked bad leaving the show. Knowing I know they didn't see it, but I knew that she, I'm 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 expecting her to come in with the rah rah. Who I'm who I knew was gonna I knew she was gonna come with the rah rah, and I knew William's little punk ass was gonna come with with the rah rah. William or Will? Will is that the one? which one is Will? Will's Will is a short dark skin. Yeah, that one. I knew he was gonna come with the rah rah. I did not expect what I don't. I didn't want to expect them what Patrice was coming with. You know, saying that um, Alonzo was with I guess three women. Yeah, and care to see about that. So I want to see what Koshia has to say. Oh yes, Koshia, girl. I hope you come a little more calm down. Because I'm tired, of, I'm tired of people trying to fight at these reunions. It's giving love and hip hop. Well, Alexis is already doing all that, so Koshia might not get a chance. Because how many? Said he acted a fool, so I'm wondering what he has to say. Because we've had a lot of reunions now where they've tried to fight. We had Sharice and um, old girl from the Miami season that was ready to fight. Janelle and Tequila last season, and now we got three seasons in a row where they about to get knuck if you buck at the reunions. Yeah, before it was like the women was fighting each other. Now seeing it's like the women want to fight the men. Like <laughs> they've had enough. Oh, I was gonna get this comment. 
because I, I was going to say that because Kira, I saw Kira tweet about um, BMF that is bad this season. But I see that. But I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to knock y'all's show because I know you watching. I do. I do see your reviews, but I just BMF ain't for me. I mean, I've reviewed 11, 11 Hip Hop Miami. So <laughs> and that's falling I've been, that show. I've been dropped that show from I've been dropped every Love and Hip Hop. Um. The Haitian Emperor says, if he uses WhatsApp, he can send to many. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Because okay. I don't use WhatsApp. Um, did you notice Did you notice they had Patrice film confessionals? I was going to say that because Patrice filmed a, re, um, a, conf, a confessional on the re, day of the reunion. And so did Vanessa. Because if you go back and if you go look at Vanessa's final interview, she has these her hair in an updo, and it looked like I, I don't know yeah. if those are crochets or oh, whatever. I got on a suit and some, a couple of them. They did yeah. that last season, um, and then I remember they did that with Jeffrey when she had that blonde wig. Yeah, on. that blonde storm wig. So they. Kira says she's ready for the reunion, and um, the Haitian Ripper says. <laughs> William with the hips, with William with the titties and hips, or chain wheel. Um, chain wheel. Not William that looked like um T- Tamar Braxton's ex husband Herbert, uh, Vincent Herbert. Oh, now you know you need to. <laughs> you I, know you I need to see it. That man does look like Vincent Herbert. No, I don't see it. He 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 resembles Vincent a little bit in the face. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go look at oh, Vincent. Maybe a slim down version. That's what it is. Go look at Vince and go look at Will. It's a slim down version of Vince. Well, you better say William. You know, you don't want to confuse the two. Well, right? yeah. Because Will was on, all right, he was on the interview pulling out pow pow. So I don't want no oh, trouble. Okay? He was just pulling them out, I guess, just letting the people the scare know. people. He got that strap on them. I don't know what he was trying to do, but. <laughs> well, he must he must realize this is an open care state. So I just as well as he can have one, I can too. <laughs> so. Tread lightly, Mr. Will. Um, Kira, um, Kira says, someone going to tell me I don't like true stories. I live for a document. However, the writing on BMF is suspect. That's like I was saying on your live the other night that we know the story of BMF. We know how that story ends. Yeah. Me just in jail. Like, let's see how we got there. Even though I watched the documentary, they said <laughs> this is loosely based on the truth. Is it loosely or how loose? <laughs> they say, Look, whatever you take away from me, you take away. But uh, that's why a lot of people are like, I don't like this character, I don't like that person. But they that was a part of the story. So exactly. That's why I say how loose is it? <laughs> that, how loose. Because it don't seem that loose. Yeah, I mean, I said they got in there, they want her out, but she was a part of the story. So we gotta sit here <laughs> and watch her until she's no longer a part of the story. Kira says some of it's comical. I would think I'll, anything, anything with Lala Anthony in it to me would be comical. It's just that they got Lala playing like a twenty-seven-year-old. Like what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what's going on? How y'all could not find anybody else? Lala don't even look her age. All that work she got done, she looks older oh, than she is, and I think it's because of the surgery. And she was so pretty before. She was like yeah. beautiful girl. I, you know, I blame Carmelo. How, how he get the blame? She the one that went under the knife. She was trying to keep up with him, you know. She's friends with uh, Kim and them. I think she's trying to keep up with them. I mean, you just heard what I said. She tried to keep up with him because mm-hmm. they're still women. they still they men's. I don't yeah. know. Carmella don't care because he cheated either way. So I mean, he definitely did <laughs> cheat. I blame her worrying about what her friends is doing. Like, listen, y'all starting to, that stuff is starting to fall apart. It's starting to look a little weird. Exactly. And you get as you get older. That ass is just going to fall. Now, I'm going to say, well, she got her back because well, I remember what she looked like on her TRL days. So, mm-hmm. I mean, the surgeon did good work. But uh, it's something about the face. Like, when the filters, all you had to filter on TV. <laughs> so, it's like somebody zoomed in on the picture. And I was like, you didn't need to do nothing to your face. Mm-hmm. At least if you're going to do all the other stuff, leave your face out of it, please. Leave your face and your butt out of it. Well, you know, she, she, she ain't had no hips before, so she... <laughs> she had, she had no hips, but now I mean, her, I mean, everybody who gets their butt done, it looks like a wisdom tooth. Yeah, yeah, it does. But I mean, it's like it, I just feel like they should have got somebody else to play the character. The, the real person, Tony, just she didn't want Lala playing her. Oh, she did. 
No, because she said she she wanted someone who was dark skinned, like someone who resembled her. So y'all went and picked someone who was like just nothing like her. And then it looks predatory because Lila looks so much older because she is than what they actually were in real life. Oh, thank you. For, well, thank you for coming through, Haitian Empress. I yeah, really appreciate you, it. Chris. Thank you. Kira says, baby, not a wisdom tooth. Yes, a wisdom tooth. Yeah. Look at that pink lady. Look at her butt. Look at her butt. The pink lady? Who's the pink lady? I don't say her name. Uh, the pink lady. Barbie. Nicki Minaj? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I don't say her name. <laughs> I don't say that lady's why? name. Why? The minute you say her name, people swarm. Oh, you're right. <laughs> her stands swarm. I refuse to say that lady's name. I don't name. think the barbs watch Ready to Live. We they, should... they don't, but I just refuse to say her name. They're going to come find you. <laughs> I say the pink lady because somebody was going at me on um, Instagram yesterday about Beyonce and the pink lady because they were talking about Beyonce's tour didn't sell out, but the pink lady's tour sold out. I'm like, you a goddamn lie. Beyonce's tour was yeah, sold Beyonce's out. Beyonce's tour sold out. Yeah. Like, but when it comes to the beehive and the bars, like, <laughs> I don't want no parts of none of that. Mm-mm. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, Shana, I don't want to keep you. I definitely do appreciate you for joining me. So, um, this is for everybody, including you. I will be going live for the reunion. I'm not doing any recorded videos for them, but I, have, I haven't done a recorded video the reunion about a few seasons now so i will be live next saturday for reunion part one and the following saturday for part two so feel free oh, to and join. before i forget me and uh, miss kara speaks will be going live tonight over on her channel for okay. her saturday sip so oh yeah i did see that so yeah we got something over here tonight so yeah go check that and um also kira you going are you still going live for damn love and marriage dc let me know in the, in the chat because I think you. I think you are. An, um, it's a select. A, a, when I say a small few people, yeah, I just it's... heard Brandy. I think. Huh? I said just heard Brandy. I think because I, mm -hmm. I think everybody else has dropped Love and Marriage DC. <laughs> I tried it, and I had to say no. You say what? I let that go long ago. I had no interest. <laughs> so yeah, Kira says she's doing it. So yeah, y'all go check out Kira tonight for her Saturday sip as well as. Love and Marriage DC. I'm going to pray for you because Love and Marriage DC, Huntsville, Detroit, Bell Collective, and now Bold and Bougie are all a wrap on JB Says What's channel. No Carlos King shows are on my... Mm -mm. It's a wrap. <laughs> Monique said, thank you. Yes, Kira's doing the Lord's work for <laughs> Kira, <laughs> that show. Yes, Kira's like one of three left because Rox, Roxanne dropped it. Ashley dropped it. I think Scotty still is doing it. I think Scotty's still doing it. And I don't know how much longer Scotty's gonna keep up with it, but go check. But yeah, everybody definitely go check out Kira. We got we're gonna help. We're gonna Kira, it was a struggle, but to finish bold and bougie. Cause I go Shay pissed me. Go Shay was pissing me off. I will be honest about that. I just couldn't get into that one. The chemistry lacked. And that's the problem. That's the problem with Carlos King's shows. Is he? I don't know who gave him the title of King Reality. What is? What does he call himself? The King of Reality TV. I don't know who mm -hmm. gave him that title. I don't know if it's self proclaimed or what. Self proclaimed, probably because of you know he had a hand with the Real Housewives. And we see where that is today. He ain't a part of it now, so he, he can't ain't. take the call for today. He can't. He can't. He can take credit for. Heyday year, year. <laughs> for the heyday Real Housewives of Atlanta. But if he could, the thing with I'm gonna say this and then I will get off of here. The thing with Carlos is if he could do those things back with the heyday of Real Housewives of Atlanta, why can't he replicate that with his shows? None of his shows are good currently. They start out pretty yeah. good, but then they fizzle. And I'm, I'm, I'm the thing that I'm noticing, like with Love and Marriage Huntsville, yes, those people were all friends with each other. They all hate they they hate each other. Let's be real; those people don't like each other at this point. Mm -hmm. And they I don't feel like they was really real friends. I feel like they were associates, just hanging out here and there. Yeah, they don't like each other. Mel doesn't like Tisha. Tisha don't like Mel. Kimmy and Mel they are way they are fa they're fair weather friends. Stormy and, and Melody don't like each other. What the hell we have with this show? DC. These people were never friends. Um, 
what else? Detroit. Detroit. Those people were friends, I think, just like you just said. They just knew each other through passing. Mm -hmm. the Bell Collective. I don't know how many of them were real friends with each other. Yeah. I don't know how many of them were real friends. And I'm not going to do Bell Collective either because Bell Collective is going toxic too. And it's the women. Yeah. It's it is, weird. even though their husbands are, mm, but I, I still got a soft spot for Bell Collective. I'm going to keep mm -hmm. that one. I got the reunion was what um, he gave himself that title. Yeah. The reunions was solidified for me with Bell Collective with them attacking Latrice and um, Tambra. I didn't like that. I'm That's glad it. that Latrice and Tambra have each other. Before it was just Tambra by herself. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like what Marie did to Tambra with that ex. And she didn't take any accountability for it at the reunion. And Carlos didn't call her to the carpet for that. But he wanted to talk about what should happen on Real Housewives of Potomac. Right. Where about your show, sir? Yeah, he, he needs to do that anyway. You don't even <laughs> interview your cast members like that. Right. Like, why are we on here with Heavenly? <laughs> like, you need to be doing this with your cast members on the own network. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd be pissed if I were those people. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, Bell Collective. I'm writing it off as of right now. What I will say for everybody, if because I know people like Bell Collective reviews, but if season whatever the hell and then there's another thing with on y'all's number and it's stupid mm -hmm. the seasons, whatever season they're going into if they if they come back differently i may give it a shot but if they come back like they were last season it's a hell no a hell to the no 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 yeah yeah because i ain't like that they had latrice friend i forgot his name but i, I don't like that they had him crying like it's oh just, josh yeah I, it, was, it was starting to be too much mm-hmm all right, guys, that's all I got. Um, you want to add anything before we go? No, I will see y'all over at Kira's channel tonight. And be sure to like the video on your way yeah, out. Thumbs up the video. And um, like I said, I will see you. Well, for me, what do I have? I don't know what I have coming up. Because, I'm again, DC has dropped. So, um, actually, you guys, love Real Housewives of Potomac. We're finally at the reunion. Thank God this has been the longest season of my life. Oh, my gosh. We're at the reunion for Potomac, so we'll be doing Potomac reunion tomorrow as well as Summer House Martha's Vineyard, and that'll be that. It, it's scarce over here, you guys, so I'm having to figure out what to do with this channel and videos because it ain't no shows on. Ain't nothing on. <laughs> nothing on. Oh, we got the new one with OWN coming on. Oh, uh, yeah. So that, that's never, the Never Ever Meets. Oh, my God. Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> like, this, that's not, I don't see this show going on for a long time with that name alone. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna watch it. It's we're definitely gonna. I'm definitely watching it because I want to see how this couple has been together for ten years and they've never met each other. I'll just, you said it earlier, so that was you. You don't think that was really his brother? I said it, and I even I said that. Well, where where y'all think y'all he found him at? Where, where you think he got him from? They get act. Mona Scott has gotten actors for years on Love and Hip Hop. Well, this ain't Love and Hip Hop. I know it ain't Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> you know they they don't got the budget. Ain't budgeting like Love and Hip Hops. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah, check us out. Check out my videos tomorrow and check out Shayna. You will be going live with Kira tonight. And then with when are you gonna put up your rated to love review? It'll be some time today. Okay. So yeah, y'all check that out. Um, check the community tabs for everything that we got coming up. And I appreciate everybody who joined in the chat. And I definitely appreciate you, Shayna, for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'll see you guys later.